origin and evolution of planet Earth has fascinated mankind through the ages. Observations of Earth scientists of geological processes active on the surface and interior of the Earth has led to astounding advances in our understanding of Earth processes and to the discovery and sustainable use of natural resources. I work on structural geology, which involves large amount of geological fieldwork, consisting of climbing large mountains, hills, rivers, and identifying the rock units, mapping them on the top sheets, identifying the structures, etc. Though large amount of laboratory techniques have been developed in the country, but geological field work has remained an essential item in all fields of geological sciences. I usually train my students how to conduct the geological field work independently, more importantly, how to remain tough physically and mentally to face the challenges of the nature. Geochronology is the science of reading clocks in the rocks, trace amounts of radioactive nucleides and their decay products like radiogenic isotopes and patient tracks in the minerals are used as clocks. We can determine timing and provide a temporal framework for very earth processes. In our department, we are using these methods to determine the timing and duration of taken flood basalts, the uplift and erosion rates of northeast Himalayan ranges, and formation times of certain economic deposits. Sedimentary rocks preserve the history of life and climate on Earth through ages. We study rocks which are really old, few billion years old, to understand the evolution of microbes. Then we study rocks which are several million years old to understand the appearance and disappearance of dinosaurs and evolution of land plants. At the same time, we study sediments a few thousand years old to understand the sea level fluctuations and climate change of the recent past. As we stand on the brink of what may be the sixth mass extinction of Earth's history, it's extremely important to revisit and evaluate other such events in the geologic past, especially to understand causes, mechanisms, and consequences on life due to environmental perturbations. At the Department of Earth Science Society, Bombay, we are currently focused on two such critical time intervals, one being the Paleocene-Eocene thermal maximum that witnessed a global greenhouse warming of 5 to 8 degrees Celsius and a benthic foraminifera mass extinction event. The other event we are focused on is the Cretaceous tertiary boundary mass extinction, which witnessed the demise of non-avian dinosaurs, ammonites and planktic foraminifera. The Rock Engineering Group at IIT Bombay focuses on a plethora of applications in engineering geology to eventually establish an understanding for optimum site selection, the stability and analysis of tunnels, dams, slopes, and nuclear waste disposal sites. The geomechanics group at IIT Bombay focuses on reservoir geomechanics, which deals with the cap rock integrity and prediction of performance of the reservoirs with time. Developing unconventional hydrocarbon resources, such as coal bed methane, shale gas and gas hydrates is at the signature of present times along with carbon dioxide mitigation and we as a group focus on developing the understanding for effective utilization of the subsurface. Understanding the evolutionary process of the earth requires knowledge about its deep interior. Geophysics plays a fundamental role in exploring the hidden interiors of the earth from the shallow subsurface to the core. For instance, earthquake seismology makes use of earthquakes as natural sources to explore the earth from local to global scales. An earthquake generates seismic waves which propagate throughout the earth and carry information about the source and medium properties. Our research involves modeling the earthquake waveforms recorded by a network of seismic stations to image in three dimensions the earth's interior which provides constraints on the physical structure, nature, and composition of the planet Earth. Gravity and magnetic methods play an important role in exploration geophysics, apart from their wider application in understanding the deeper processes. Our lab at IIT Bombay is involved in the acquisition, analysis, and interpretation of the gravity and magnetic data for region-scale geotectonic investigations that are important in mineral exploration. Also, 
we suitably integrated these uh, data sets with seismic data in the Indian offshore and obtained several new insights on the evolution of the continental margins of India, sub-basalt investigations which have far-reaching implications on the hydrocarbon expression scenario in the country. Magnetotelluric is one of the efficient electromagnetic induction techniques to probe the interior of the earth from surface up to upper mantle depths using electrical resistivity as diagnostic parameter. Backbone to such investigations is the use of nonlinear signal processing techniques such as multifractal analysis, empirical mode decomposition technique, and wavelet analysis. Department of Earth Sciences, IIT Bombay, is home to developing such type of nonlinear signal processing techniques. The primary goal of exploration seismology is to image the subsurface layers and deduce their material properties. Geophysicists do this by injecting mechanical waves into the earth and recording the reflections or echoes from different layers. These echoes are then mapped back into the corresponding layer boundaries by solving the wave equation iteratively in a computer. This process is known as an in solving an inverse problem. A natural analog is the echolocation technique used by bats to navigate and hunt their prey. Earth sciences is not just the science of natural phenomena, it provides technological support to small and large engineering projects. Dams, bridges, reservoirs, tunnels under the oceans and mountains, mining and petroleum projects are all supported by inputs from earth sciences. Mm -hmm.